and the other companies involved are about to face their day in court. Around 2 a.m. when an explosion occurred inside what they call the cracking area. Uh, it's not, we're not buying it as a refiner. We're certainly not buying it as a integrated oil company. We're buying it because we like the company and, and we like Warren Buffett. Dad. I love that guy. Daddy. Father. Let's watch something less scary. How about turn around rescue and bike it was? Nah, we've seen it all a hundred times. Dad. Yes, son. Those horrible things happen at your refinery? No, we inspect our pipes and vessels and renew as necessary. But isn't the place like a hundred years old? Yeah, but that's where our remote monitoring Element 14 challenge comes in. The Ad Hoc Freaky, Freaky Intense, Intense Fixed, fixed equipment, equipment Vital Health Monitoring System. Oh, good grief. Let's, Let's get, get to it. it. <laughs> This belt is for the Elma14.com Project 14 Challenge Remote Monitoring. If you like to learn, build, and win prizes, consider joining us at Elma14.com. Here's the backstory on this project. To provide us with energy and materials that make our lives better, refineries and chemical plants have to run hazardous operations. It's basically like cooking. Take ingredients, put them in a tank, and boil. If the materials they process gets out of the pipes, it could lead to dire consequences. So we monitor the pipes and vessels to ensure they don't erode and corrode away. The most common way of doing this is to periodically inspect the thickness of the pipe and vessel walls. If they get too thin, they could rupture. So every three years or so, they send out crews to manually measure the pipe's thickness with x-rays and UT meters. You can learn more about this project on our element14.com blog. Big Petro Maker Magic, $100 data logger that can save you millions. Also known as the Ad Hoc Freaky Intense Fixed Equipment Vital Health Monitoring. So here's where our monitoring project comes in. If a pipe or vessel starts to get too thin, you can establish Ad Hoc Wireless Monitoring. Emerson's Rosemount Wireless Transmitters combined with their 1410 Wireless Gateway allows you to set up sensors where you want to monitor all the time. You can then daisy chain the transmitters all the way back to your office. Here's the catch. Just measuring the thickness remotely doesn't help you over the weekend when you're not at your desk. You need to log the data for later review. So here's our project. Make a data logger that can talk to the Emerson's remote transmitter. Lucky for us, back in 1979, an industrial communication protocol was made called Modbus. It was open source before open source was a thing. And lucky for us, the Arduino community has already made a library to talk to Modbus. Let's turn it over to Walnut to show you how we did it. Pull this off, we're going to use an Arduino Mega with an SD and Ethernet shield coupled to an LCD display and a real time clock. All of that will go within a 3D printed case. So we can talk to the Rosemont wireless transmitters, we need to be able to speak the protocol called Modbus. To do that, I'm first going to make an emulator on a PC that will simulate the Rosemont transmitters. And then the Arduino will hit that to read its data. We'll first seed the data using a client script in Python. And then we'll run our server so it can wait for the Arduino to hit it, to prove it out. Here's our Arduino code for the Megalogger that we'll talk as the Modbus client. Let's take a look, see if it works. It works! We can now data log by going through the gateway to the Rosemount transmitter. This allows us to data log every one minute 24 points for up to a thousand days. That'll get us through the weekend. So that's it for our Project 14 challenge. I hope everyone can sleep better tonight knowing the world is a better place with online ad hoc, freaky intense, fixed equipment, vital health monitoring. If you enjoy watching a kid get taught engineering from 9 to 18, please subscribe. It's taken us five years, but we're slowly approaching that magic 1000 mark. <laughs> I 
I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again. I wasn't listening. 